What's going on YouTube? My name is Pat Sicaglione and I am a student pilot here in, uh, in Connecticut. I'm training on a Piper Warrior, a Piper Cherokee, and uh, I've done some training on a Cirrus SR22 as well in the beginning of my training, but I felt like I really needed to get away from the glass, glass cockpit and get into something a little bit more I don't know, a little bit simpler, just to learn the learn the basics. I have uh, like an hour and a half or so of solo time. So yeah, I'm heading out right now to do some more pattern work, do some solo work, and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. I'm just uh, I'm just trying to start a little a little channel to show my experience and talk a little bit about aviation because I developed a strong passion for it over the last you know few years. So. Any questions, comments, feel free to, to leave one in the uh, comment section below and hope you guys enjoy. Hi, how can I help you? Hey, I'm just here for a uh, flight lesson with Avia Flight Academy. <laughs> Whew, it is hot in here. I uh, just got into the cockpit about to do our uh, pre-flight inspection so stay tuned and we'll be up in the air shortly bridgeport ground good afternoon uh, piper five four 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 six is at the north ramp with papa ready to taxi and looking to stay in the pattern welcome aboard folks we are taxiing over to runway two four to do some uh do some solo pattern work. And today's focus, I, I'm gonna try to get more of a uh, nose up attitude. My landings have been super, uh, super smooth. However, um, they're a little flat. So I'm, I'm gonna be trying to work on, you know, getting those landings in a little more of a nose up attitude. We do actually touch down. Before takeoff, so we're going to check our uh, our flight instruments here. So airspeed is zero, attitude indicator is wings level, altimeter is three, uh, sorry, two nine or seven nine. Our vertical speed indicator is zero. Our directional gyro is slightly, slightly off, so I'm going to adjust that. Right about there. Good. I'm actually going to set this or a 2-4 heading, that way we know where our runway is when we're up there. All right, cool. All right, here we go, folks. Get us lined up here. Do a little bit of a uh, of a rolling takeoff here, so we'll get up to 2,000 RPMs. Do a quick scan of our gauges. Everything looks in the green, so we'll give it full power. And airspeed is coming alive, holding that center line, getting up to 50 and 60. is good we are almost at beam our touchdown point so I'm go ahead and reduce the power a little bit and let that descent come in and add one notch of flaps there a little bit of trim going I'd like to add a little bit of trim the descent Nice and smooth. 
about 500 uh, feet per minute. The uh, set rate that I try to keep the airplane at. Coming in for a landing. And once the numbers are 45 degree angle behind my wing, I'm going to start a turn for base. Couple of thermals here. And once we are uh, stable, add another notch. I'll let it balloon up a little bit because I am a little low, I can tell. A little low here. It's 50 knots. That coming in. Start our final turn here. It looks like we're on a glide path. We should get straightened out and lined up here. On our glide path, not going to touch anything. Except adding some flaps to get us to uh, about 70 knots where I want to be. Pressure, pressure, temp. Good, good, good. A little bit high, so I'm going to take the power out. And pedal in. Seventy knots. I'm always watching my airspeed on final. I want that uh, airspeed about seventy. I don't want to go really too lower than 70. Getting a little low, a little slow, so I'm going to add some power. A little windy here. No, I got the runway made, so I'm going to slowly take that power out and let the air pedal down to the runway. Ground effect. Hold it off. I did three landings. I think the first one was probably the best. I was trying to practice like more of a nose up attitude, as I mentioned, you know, earlier in the uh, in the day. So I was trying to practice like as I'm coming over the numbers and I'm getting into ground effect. Uh, really holding that nose forward, landing with the mains first, and then letting the nose touch down. And I think the first landing I did was probably the best. The second two were a little bit flat, but it, it also started to get a little windy. I had a little crosswind. I also had some thermals going on. I'm getting ready to do my cross country, my solo cross country. So I'll try to post a video about that as well. And that's gonna be from uh, Bridgeport, which is KBDR to Groton, and then Groton to Poughkeepsie, New York, and then Poughkeepsie back to uh, Bridgeport. So I'll try to post as much as I can. The GoPro batteries tend to die pretty quick though. So I'll see how much of that I can get. And uh, after that, I'm gonna solo cross country, and then I'm doing a really cool night flight with my instructor in a Cessna 172, um, a night flight to Philly. And then on the way back, we're actually going to come up through the Hudson Corridor. So definitely stay tuned for uh, for videos of that. So if you guys liked, uh, you know, the video, if you liked what you what you saw, please feel free to comment, you know, like the video, uh, comment, subscribe, whatever. But I'm going to keep posting my journey, you know, as a student pilot all the way through to my private pilot's license. And then, you know, eventually, hopefully my commercial rating 
and, um, and eventually CFI. So I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you on the next flight.